In this video, we're going to work on what's called clock arithmetic. And the clock is a 12-hour clock. So once you get to 12, you come back to 1 again. So let's do a little addition first off. 4 plus 7. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the 4 row and come down the 7 column and see they intersect at 11. So 4 plus 7 is 11. How about 4 plus 9? Let's come down that 9 column and you'll over the 4 and you see now that they meet at 1. So 4 plus 9 equals 1. It kind of makes sense because you go 12 and the next thing you start back to is 1 again. 4 plus 9 is 13, so you're thinking 12, then comes 1 again. 10 plus 5, so come across the 10 row and we'll come down the 5 row and their intersection is going to be 3. So 10 plus 5 equals 3. And again, it kind of makes sense because you think 10 plus 5 in base 10 is 12 and then you go 1, 2, 3 and that makes you 15 becomes a 3. How about some subtraction? And when you subtract these, you want to do thinking about your additions, what you want to think about. So 6 is equal to 2 plus something. So come across your 2 row and find where the 6 is and go up and say that's equal to 4. 4 minus 5 equals what? So it'd be 4 is equal to 5 plus something. So come across your 5 row until you find your 4 and then go up and say it's 11. So 4 minus 5 is 11. How about 6 minus 9? That'd be 6 is equal to 9 plus n. So we come across the 9 row until we come to 6. So we'll go up and say that's 9. So 6 minus 9 equals 9. And that's because 9 plus 9 equals 6. How about some multiplication now? We have 4 times 5. Well now 4 times 5 is really 20. If we divide that by 12, we get 1 and a remainder of 8. So the answer to this is 8. If you want to see it another way, you can do, you can do this. We can take um, 5 4's or 4 5's. If we took 4 plus 4, that's 8. Then 8 plus 4, that's 12, that's 3 4's. 12 plus 4, that's 4, that's 4 4's. And 4 plus 4 is 8. And so the answer is 8. 6 times 5, that's 30. 30 divided by 12 is equal to um, 2 with remainder 6, so 6 plus times 5 would be equal to 6. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 divided by 12 is equal to 1 with a remainder 4. So the answer is 4 here. How about some division now? Now think of this as being a multiplication problem. We have 4 divided by 5 equals n, which means that 5 times n equals 4. So 5 times what? Now what you can do is you can go to your chart and see what works. 5 times 1, well that would be equal to a um, 5 and 5 times 2 would be equal to a 10. 5 times 3 would be equal to 15. Divided by 12, you get a remainder of 3. 5 times 4 would be equal to 20 as a remainder of 8. 5 times 5 is equal to 25, that's a remainder of 1. 5 times 6, that's 30, has a remainder of 6. 5 times 7, that's 35, is a remainder of 11. 5 times 8 is 40, and that's a remainder of 4, and that's what you want. So 4 fifths is equal to 4. Hope that helps you with some um, clock arithmetic. As always, have a very happy day.